Now, the death of Hamas Deputy Chief Saleh al aruri has sparked protests in Palestine. Thousands are gathering in his hometown in West Bank and are marching to demand revenge. These are the scenes from Arura in West Bank, al aruris hometown. People have been demonstrating here, holding Palestine's and Hamas's flags. <laughs> While these visuals are from Ramallah, several Palestinians are taken to the streets here to protest the Israeli attacks in Gaza and the killing of senior Hamas official in the Lebanese capital. Large crowds also gathered in Yemeni capital Sana'a. Houthi supporters rallied here in solidarity with Gaza. The rebel group has warned that they will target ships in the Red Sea that have links to Israel. Several of their missiles and drones have been shot down by US, French and British warships in recent weeks. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Israel, with the three-month anniversary of Hamas attack and the Supernova Music Festival approaching, families of the victims visited the site in Reim Kibbutz to remember those killed in the attack and pay tribute by lighting candles. I'm still stuck on October 7th, maybe the 8th. I can't switch days, I cannot turn the page, I can't open the new year. For my family and another 135 families, today is the 91st of October. Today is the 90, uh, 91 days that they are held by the terror organization Hamas and literally every second counts. The site holds pictures of those who were taken captive or were killed. According to authorities, 364 people were shot, bludgeoned or burned to death at the Nova Festival. Another 40 taken hostage by Hamas. On the 7th of October, Hamas militants infiltrated from Gaza and held people hostage. Until date, over 129 hostages are still in Hamas' captivity. This as the families of the hostages continue waiting eagerly for the release of their loved ones. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.